Hey everybody, it's Mr. Math Blog here, and this lesson is uh, weight, and so we're going to do converting weight from pounds to ounces and ounces or pounds to uh, tons, all that stuff. This is lesson 10.3 in our textbook, and and don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com, and there's our our good old Common Core strand for your teachers, and then our question is, how can we compare and convert customary units of weight? Okay, so we did. Um, uh, we did liquids in the last lesson, and we did lengths in the lesson before that. Well, this is weight. So here's our conversion table right here. One pound is equal to 16 ounces, and then a ton, which is a T right there, capital T, one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. Okay, and a pound, I don't know where they get LB, but that's an L. LB represents a pound. OZ represents an ounce. I don't know where they get that. And T represents a ton. Well, I can see that right there. Anyways, those are our abbreviations for pounds, ounces, and tons. Oh, my. All right, let's get started here. So Harry has a science project uh, to make a boat. The requirements are that the boat must weigh four pounds or less. His unpainted boat uh, already weighs 62 ounces. So what is the weight of the most paint that he can use for his boat to qualify for entry? Okay, so what weight does Harry need to convert? All right, well, we need to convert his four pounds or less into ounces right there. So we need to convert uh, the four pounds to ounces. After Harry converts the weight, what must he do? Okay, well, after we figure out this is the maximum weight he can have, after we convert four pounds to ounces right here, then we're going to subtract how much his uh, boat weighs from that and that'll tell us how much paint is left so he'll need to subtract 62 ounces from that number to see how much paint he can use all right so remember one pound equals uh, 16 ounces right there so let's go ahead and put that in there and then we're going to convert um, uh, the four pounds to ounces and we're going to use this bar model right here to write an equation so here is four groups of 16. Well, four groups of 16 is the same as four times 16. So we'll write that right here and we'll put four times 16 right here. And this will be for my equals right here. Okay. All right. So four times 16. Now, if you don't know what four times 16 is, I bet you know what four times eight is. Four times eight is 32. So if we did four times eight twice, because two eights will give us this 16, then we did 32 and 32 and added them together, that'd give us 64. 4 times 16 is the same as two groups of 4 times 8, which is still 64. All right, so uh, we're going to subtract the rocket's weight from the total ounces of the rocket that can weigh to qualify. Okay, so the rocket, remember his rocket weighs 62 ounces so far, and the maximum weight can be 4 pounds or 64 ounces. So we're going to put in 64 minus uh, the 62 equals 2. All right, so the weight of paint that can, it can be at most 2 ounces for Harry's model boat to qualify for the science project. Okay, that's easy, isn't it? All right, how do we choose which, pa uh, which math operation to change from pounds to ounces? Well, remember when we go from uh, a larger unit to a smaller unit, then we multiply. If we went from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we're going to divide, and that's what we're going to do in this next uh, problem here. So here we go. The maximum weight of a certain cruise ship is, now let's say this together here. This says 152 million 98,000, okay? 152 million, nine, uh, 98,000 pounds. How many tons is this? Okay, well, remember, a ton is 2,000 pounds. So what do, operation are we going to do? We're going to go from pounds to tons. Pounds is smaller. So when we go backwards to tons, we're going to do, we're, um, since pounds is smaller than tons, and we need to divide uh, the number by pounds by, and there's 2,000 pounds in each ton. So we need to divide that big old number by 2. Okay, my clock just told me it's on the hour right now. So, all right, so we're going to break uh, 2,000. It's easier to divide uh, if we break it into smaller numbers, but uh, break 2,000 into factors that are easy to, to, to divide mentally. So 2,000 is the same as 1,000 times 2. So instead of dividing by 2,000, we'll divide this 152,098,000 by the first factor right here, this 1,000 right here, then we'll divide that quotient, that answer, by the second factor, 2 right here. So this 152,098,000, we're going to divide it by the first factor right here, which is 1,000 right there. Now check this out. Do you see how they both end in three zeros right here? When you divide by 1,000, you can just knock off the three zeros right there. So that's going to give us 152,000. Um, 
1098 when we divide it by a thousand it takes off those three zeros so when we now we're going to take this 152 uh, 1098 and we're going to divide that by two okay so let's go ahead and i'll do this right up here 152,098 divided by two now the reason why i'm doing this is um there's a zero in here and i just don't i don't want you to lose the zero so i know you guys know how to do this two goes into 15 seven times and we get 14 and then we subtract so when we subtract we're going to get one and what do we do next you guys well we bring down the next number and then we ask again 2 goes into 12 6 times so when we do 6 then uh, we multiply 2 times 6 is is 12 and so we get a remainder of 0 so then we slide down the next number okay so here we go and then we do it again we have to uh, divide 2 goes into 0 how many times 0 so there's a 0 right there all right so then uh, oops i moved that over and then uh, so so 2 times 0 is 0, so then we subtract, and then we bring down the next number. Just don't forget that 0 right there, okay? And then so bring down the next number, and 2 goes into 9 four times. And then bring down the next number, and 2 goes into 18 nine times right there. Finally, we end with the remainder of 0. So, so this is going to equal 76,049 when we divide that by 2. So the maximum weight of these cruise ships is, that's how many tons it is, 76,049 tons. All right, you guys, that's it. I'll take care.